start throwing bottles at the police. Question number five, Dennis O'Rourke. This question is to the Minister for Economic Development and asks what progress, if any, has the government made in the area of regional development? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, test one, two, Mr Speaker. Uh, the government is investing heavily in regional development across New Zealand. After all, the national economy is the aggregation of all the regions in the country. Just a few examples for the member. We're rolling out ultra-fast broadband to connect fibre optic technology to schools, hospitals and 90% of businesses by 2015. Uh, also the Rural Broadband Initiative. We're encouraging the development of New Zealand's resource wealth, which follows, of course, the successful oil and gas industry model in Taranaki, where uh, 5,000 people are employed, and that contributes $2 billion to our GDP. We're investing massively in our state highway network, which links all our regions together, and that includes, of course, the road of national significance, which links the regions to our main centres. Mr Speaker, these are just some examples of the programmes that are contributing to regional development in this country. Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. How is regional economic performance in New Zealand being measured, given that there is no official measure? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think the member raises a fair point, actually, and the regional GDP statistics have not been prepared for many years, so you'll be pleased to learn uh, that's exactly what's happening at this time, and later this year we'll have uh, regional, it's not, not actually GDP statistics, but actually regional equivalents of GDPs, uh, which will be helpful to the member and I think to all members of the House in terms of regional development. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. Does the Minister receive regular ongoing reports regarding the economy of each region? And if so, which regions are underperforming? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, well, as I said to the member, the actual measures of regional GDP will be uh, available later this year. But actually, you can get all sorts of indicators of which regions are going well and which aren't. Obviously, the employment uh, ones are examples. And I can report to the member, for example, that the South Island and all the regions in the South Island are doing uh, very well in the employment situation at the moment. That's obviously being driven partially by the Christchurch rebuild, but also the health of the various Order. economies in the South Island. Uh, the standout is always Taranaki, where they have very, very strong uh, economic performance. Uh, and some of the regions that are struggling, uh, you'd have to say Manawatu, Wanganui would be one in that category, Northland would be another. Uh, and of course, as a result of uh, the PSA and Bay of Plenty, that's really knocked that regional economy as well. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. To the Minister, why did the government allocate less than $5 million in the current year to regional specific projects compared to a massive $50 million on Hollywood film subsidies, which the Treasury says have no economic benefit? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, actually the government spends massive amounts in each region. Order. So just to give you some examples, uh, things such as schools and hospitals, which are very important for regional infrastructure, the roading system, yes, the broadband system, and different regions have different industries which the government supports. And for example, the film industry that the member mentions is very important in the Wellington region. There are other industries that are very important in other regions. The government has just, for example, uh, indicated it's going to invest in the irrigation projects, which will be very important in the eastern regions of the country. So it's very much a matter of horses for courses, depending on what regions need. And the government spends around 70 odd billion dollars a year around New Zealand, uh, and much of that goes into our regions. Point of order. Point of order, Dennis O'Rourke. Mr Speaker, the question asked why the government allocated less than $5 million to specific regional projects, and that question has and not been answered. It has been answered to my satisfaction. The Minister went on to say that there are a number of very expensive programmes to which a lot of that money was obviously spent in the regions. Further? Well, a new point of order? Right Honourable Winston Peters. No, point of order. Order. I'm, I'm on my feet. I'm on my feet, and the member will resume his seat. I have ruled that that question was satisfactorily answered. The minister made a genuine effort to answer the question, saying that there are a number of initiatives 
where the government is spending money which is clearly spent within the region? In my mind, that question is answered quite satisfactorily. And if the member continues to relitigate my answer, that will bring this House into, dis into disorder and disrepute. Fresh point of order, right honourable Winston Peters. Uh, fresh point of order. Uh, my point of order, sir, is <laughs> my point of order, sir, is this: that we are required to base questions on certain evidence. That evidence comes comes from the last budget. No. Now, now, now excuse me. When he when he phrases particularly with the words regional specific, those are budgetary terms. Now, sir, to go outside regional specific to use regional general as the minister has done gives my colleague. Well, it gives my colleague grounds for legitimate complaint. Otherwise, sound budgetary processes mean nothing in this parliament. That's my point. I, I thank the member for his assistance, and I accept the, the member raised a genuine point of order. I considered his point of order, and I am absolutely satisfied with the quality of answer given by the minister. There is no way any member can accept an answer by design, and provided the minister has addressed the question to my satisfaction, I accept that that is satisfactory. Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. Will the Minister consider New Zealand Fed's proposal for a regional royalty scheme, which would see all Order. 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 Can I ask the member to start the question again now that he has the microphone, to be fair to him? On? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will the Minister consider New Zealand First's proposal for a regional royalties scheme, which would see almost $100 million a year go to regional development, given that it has been endorsed by local government New Zealand? And if not, why not? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr. Speaker, firstly, that is actually probably a question best directed to the Minister of Energy and Resources. But having said that, in terms of uh, economic development. We actually invest, as I said before, a massive arrangement in each region. The real benefits for the regions from, for example, resources, and, and, and I think that's what the member refers to in terms of royalties, is the jobs and growth that are created within those regions. And if you take Taranaki, for example, uh, that has a fantastic record of high value jobs, both in the oil and gas industry and in downstream industries, and that has been fantastic for that region. And every quarter, when the unemployment statistics come out, is reminded of that. So my uh, point to the local government uh, people would be to focus on attracting investment to your regions for the obvious benefits that they bring, especially the jobs, because that's the real benefit. Point of order. Point of order, Dennis O'Rourke. Mr. Speaker, the uh, the question was whether the minister would consider a proposal for a regional and, royalties scheme. And the answer given was that that was a more appropriate question for a Minister of Energy and Resources. The question is answered. Further Point supplementary? Of order, Mr. Mr Speaker. Point of order, Dennis O'Rourke. The, uh, the Minister agreed to answer the question. And, and did give a fulsome answer. And, and therefore an answer saying that it is more appropriate to be answered that by another Minister is not an answer to the question. If he is going to agree to order. answer the question, order. then that's I what have he ruled. Do. I have ruled that the question was answered satisfactorily. That is the end of that matter. Move to question number six. Is this a fresh point of order? Otherwise, the member is trifling with the chair. Is it a well, fresh point of order? The point of order is, Mr. Speaker, that one minister or another needs to answer I, my question. I have given the member every opportunity. That question has been answered to my satisfaction. If he continues to raise questions of order, he will bring this House into disorder, and that is a very serious matter which I will address. I move to question. Sorry, is it a Speaker? point of order? Supplementary. Supplementary, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary. Mr. Speaker, the supplementary is to the minister. Who I hope will answer the question, and it is why has no appointment been made of a minister for regional development? 
Can you repeat this? It's a difficult day when we haven't got good microphone. Can the member please repeat the question? And can I ask the rest of the House to give silence while the question is being asked? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. I address the, the supplementary question to the Minister and express the hope that he will actually answer just it. Answer. Why has no appointment been made of a Minister for Regional Development? Honourable Stephen Joyce. I realise I probably don't want to say this at this point, but that's actually not the responsibility of mine either. That's actually the responsibility of the Prime Minister in terms of allocating um, uh, portfolios, obviously. But actually, we do actually have a responsibility of regional development that forms part of the economic development portfolio. And I have answered those questions to the member this afternoon. Move to supplementary. Qu supplementary question, the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Sup supplementary, Mr. Speaker. Is it going, Jerry? Yep. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, if resources are the lifeblood of the regions, what will the minister say to the hut miners who are likely to lose their jobs with strong rumours of the impending re receivership of Buller mining operations? Well, if you listened instead of talking, you might order. The member will repeat his question Thank without you, Mr. Speaker. embellishment. Otherwise, he'll lose it. Honourable Damien O'Connor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if resources are the champion of regional development, which I agree, what will the minister say of miners who are looking for the receivership of Buller mining operations? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I literally don't know the, uh, the uh, example the member refers to. Uh, but I would point out that the opportunities on the West Coast, which the member is obviously interested in, are many and varied. And one of the very significant opportunities down there is the Bathurst mine, which uh, the government uh, is having go through a process at the moment. The member will recall that I called on the Labor Party and the Green Party last year to support uh, the Bathurst application and to ask their friends in energy. the environmental movement to remove their objections. Solid if they did so, company. that would actually help the development of mining on the West Coast. And I think the fact that the Labor Party was silent was a demo demonstrative of the fact that they Solid weren't that interested. Solid energy is your company. Move to question number six in the name of the Honourable David Parker. Uh, 